<laughs> G'day, welcome to another episode of Country Life on the Coast. My name is Sean and on today's episode we're going to put together a gas lift queen size bed frame. We recently bought this from Harvey Norman. This is only one of the boxes. There's, I think, three others out there. We're going to see how hard this is to put together. It's one that has a gas lift on it, so there's storage underneath the mattress. We'll open this up and see what we've got to do. Sounds scary. A little bit. You got that? Yep. Sort of. Ta-da! <laughs> Shiny. Shiny. <laughs> so oh yeah, so we're just gonna have to lift it off and sit it over there somewhere. Yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> lift it off and sit it over there somewhere. <laughs> What's the box say? How do you do? Don't ask. You don't ask those questions. I'm sure it's says. Yeah, don't ask. Don't look. Was this the one that weighed more than me? Don't look. I think this is the one that weighed more than me. It's quite heavy. Yeah. Let's look at my arm in the back. <laughs> What's it do? Oh! <laughs> How cool is that? So it does that one off. It looks like it's got. What's that for? Is it charging? That's USB. It's charging your phone? Yeah. It's got USB ports in it. Yeah. Did you know that? No. No, I didn't either. We didn't buy for those features. <laughs> <laughs> we bought it for a different feature. So installing the bed head, that's really easy. How cool does that look? It came with the lights, everything. Simple. Now we just have to build the rest of the frame. We'll drag another box in and see what's inside it. <laughs> Did the noises help? You moved it like a foot and a half. <laughs> We've gone half a meter. Yeah, no. Okay, let's swap places. I'll do it. <laughs> Make sure I don't hit the head. Stop. <laughs> <Let's> go. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, there's a lump here. Where should the lump go? The other side. Of course. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, well, at the moment, I don't want to put this last one in here because I can walk through here. So. Okay. Voila. So these are the bits we have. A couple of screws and a couple of screw holder things. So what we do is we just screw these into here. Make sure we don't cross through them. And then what we'll do is we slide these into here, into, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's a couple of holes here that will slide through. And those holes, I'll give that back to you, come all the way through to here. So what happens is these heads of these screws will come through here, but these will sit through. And then you just do this up and it locks onto it. It's a very simple way of doing it. Very creative though. So let's try and slide this in. So we just slide those in like that. Put this in here. And 
and then we just do that up. And it clicks in. There we go. It's now on. Well, we just spent, I don't know, 10 minutes trying to work out, probably trying to read the instructions too much, that don't make it very clear. Mm -hmm. uh, but what we worked out was that these studs get screwed in first and then we'll slide it all in and these pieces which have no thread in them will slide on over it and then a nut will be done up on that and that will tie it on there's obviously a dowel in the center at each end and for the middle one these are those same fittings that we had before which will just slide into here where we'll put those other inserts in and lock them on because we took a while to work this out um, but you had to think about how it was going to actually attach to the bed head as well because so. there's other ones so there's ones that look exactly the same but these ones have a thread in them and so these ones are actually used to attach to the bed head so we'll show you that shortly but first of all we're going to attach this end piece we were about to attach that end piece but realizing that we need to attach it to the bed head and we need to get from the other side to put the bolts through it so we've decided we're going to do this end first move the bed head out a little bit attach all of this to it and then push it back to where it needs to be just to minimize a little bit of the weight obviously it gets heavier and heavier as we attach more pieces so uh, slightly different to what the instructions said but that's all right sat him home now this just slides in here hopefully and then we'll put a nut they provide you with a spanner to do them up we'll get them all started before we nip them up tight these in a little threaded insert oh, can't do it while holding your camera <laughs> and maybe this will try here nice tight fit There's four of those to install so you can hardly even see them which is really good So I think, and, and we'll find out when we put the bed base on, but this shaft through here has a very raised bit in the middle, and so a washer can't go all the way past it. They sit like that. And I believe a washer really needs to be on either side of this piece of timber. 
so this washer wasn't sitting there when we opened it up it, they were both on this side but I've put a washer on obviously that side of it now it can slide through here and then we can put a washer and the nut on this side so I'm not sure how tight that needs to be because this needs to be able to obviously move up and down as well but I reckon that's the way that goes this way it keeps that from hitting it's not going to touch the timber at all that nut won't so that's what I think anyway so just putting these bracket on the instructions seem to show that it goes in upside down to this but that doesn't really make sense to me because the bed the base is going to sit on this and make sense that it should be on the flat part at least that's to me well if I'm wrong well I'll explain that later and, and show why if that is the case but anyway that's the way we're doing at the moment evened up the gap here originally this gap actually was a fair bit bigger but we've checked down on each side and then along the bed head here so it was really close probably just about touching it actually so we've opened that up a bit check this each side in the back and we're happy with that now so I suppose we can tighten it up and we were just looking Bit hard to say it's a bit hard to see but from this end it looks like the match the bed uh, base is slide, sloping up so those brackets I was talking about before that I thought were up the other should be up the other way I reckon that is wrong so I need to probably flip those over and we'll have another look at it when it sits down on those it certainly does now that it actually sits down in those little things I think it's a lot more level than it was you still have a good gap around everything that's good it looks so much more level yeah like that when we were it's easy yes it goes up is it hollow? No. Is that hollow? No. That doesn't go higher. <laughs> so I think for safety's sake, that's a lock. If you, need, you you know when you're putting stuff in there. Right. I don't know what this is for. <laughs> so this is our new bed base all together. All put together. Looks fantastic, especially with the lights on it. So we have a couple of drawers or storage. To slide down. We talked about the lights already. There is a couple of USB ports. There. So that came with it, all wired up, ready to go. Awesome base and huge amount of storage underneath here. Very easy to lift up as well. 
So we'll be able to put a lot of things in there. Obviously stuff we just don't use all the time, but need to be able to access. And at the moment, because there's no mattress on it, it does take a bit of effort to get it back down. <laughs> it's about to lift me up then. <laughs> wow. So they originally thought, or the, the instructions sort of gave us the impression that you could do this in 40 minutes or so. Well, we were probably more like two hours, but that was partly to try to understand some of the instructions. A few pictures and the odd... Well, were there any words in it? No. Yes. Yes, there were the There's odd few words. There's one blurb at the end and something about tightening screws somewhere. Yeah, so not many words, a few pictures to try and decipher. Um, so what we found, one of the one of the reasons it was a bit more challenging was that there were different packets of screws and washers and that, but the packets that were together didn't go together on the bed frame for some strange reason. Don't know why they'd do it that way. So you had to sort of sort everything first and go, okay, those washers go with these bolts over here. Um, but once we got that sorted, yeah, like I said, not difficult, not difficult at all. So we, there were two big boxes that we showed early. Both of those were over 50 kilos. So the whole bed with frame and that must be 120 kilos probably in that sort of vicinity. So you need, need a couple of people to be able to move bits and pieces around. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, we're really happy with it. We love the look of it. Now we just got to put the mattress on and we're good to go. And try and find somewhere to put all the rubbish that we got with it. So this is all the rubbish that we got with it. All the packaging that comes with the bed. Just a mountain of stuff. Unbelievable. And the worst part is a lot of it's like polystyrene stuff and plastic. So straight to the dump. Uh, at least there's a lot of cardboard that could probably be recycled. But yeah, mountain of rubbish with it. <laughs> 